Hello everyone, this is Paul from DLT Trading and today I want to show you the Rick Hinder XM24 Skinny. So it's very similar to the standard XM24 and I'll show you the, or tell you the specs real quick. So four inches on the blade, 5.625 closed, weighs in at 6.7 ounces, uh, blade steel S35VN, blade thickness 165. Uh, does have a pocket clip on the back, uh, which is right hand only, uh, tip up, tip down. So you can swap the between the filler tab here and the clip. Uh, all the hinder knives come tip down out of the box. So like I said, this is the XM24 Skinny, which cuts down the thickness. So the 165 blade thickness is typically done on the three and a half, the XM24, or excuse me, XM18 three and a half series and the standard 24 is typically thicker or is thicker on the blade uh, the titanium and the g10 so rick kept the same overall platform but just shrunk it shrunk it down you can see on the, the flipper tab here it does have the s signifying the skinny variation so it does cut almost a full ounce of weight and thickness i got my calipers here i'll just show you the thickness real quick so the standard 24, let's see, uh, 0.59, then the skinny version, 525. In hand, uh, so uh, technically it's 0.9 ounces based off our scale, the difference, but in hand it just feels a lot different than that. It feels a lot lighter, a lot more pocket friendly. And if you're not familiar with the 24, you know, if you've only, handled threes or three and a half in that 18 series 24 is a big knife uh, and with the the skinnier version it just like i said makes it a lot more pocket friendly uh, does so this variation is the slicer grind it's the only one that's out so far just a feels like a great knife if you if you find the three and a half the xm18 three and a half too small this is definitely one you should uh, look at for the longest time i was not a fan of the full size 24 at all and like I said, I, I've, I've said in other videos, I, I do have a couple Medfords, and this, you know, compares to a, um, a more closely to a Praetorian, which is a, a pretty big knife, but it, except it's, I, I have the Praetorian Genesis, and this is even, even bigger. Um, so this, this is a big knife, but I really like, really like the skinny version. It just feels great. It feels great in the hand. With this being thinner overall, uh, there's a little sticker that comes in the box, so it'll be Hinder knives are known for the customization and the accessory parts available. So you just need to keep in mind that there are some variations on what is needed to upgrade the XM24 skinny. So you can see it uses the same handle screws and standoffs as the three and a half, but it does have specific parts for the pivot, handle nuts, and the G10. I've, from my experience, the three and a half inch is the more commonly upgraded one, but guys still like to uh, change out parts on the 24. So right now there's no uh, specific parts for the 24 version for the parts that are required to be specific. So there's a couple upgrade options, just not as much at this point in time uh, for the skinny. But overall, just a, a real nice knife. Uh, like I said, I, I would absolutely recommend this. Uh, I would really wouldn't recommend the, the standard 24 to anybody uh, pr prior to this but this skinny uh, I've just kind of fallen in love with this knife especially if you like bigger knives will want to cut down the weight make it more pocket friendly easy to carry uh, something you should definitely check out available in a couple different finishes this is just standard stone wash stone wash uh, front or er, blade and back with the g10 scale all right, and that's it, the Rick Hinder XM24 Skinny. Thanks for watching.